how do you access the wisdom of god two principal channels or three principal channels really number one through the word of god second timothy three second timothy three i believe that's verse 15 and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise what makes you wise the holy scriptures the holy scriptures does not make men foolish ladies and gentlemen for those who think that studying the bible makes is is, is a necessary luggage you have to understand that contained in this word of god this bible you see is the wisdom of god that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make you wise unto salvation holy scriptures can make men wise number two you can ask for wisdom in prayer james was teaching us does any man lack wisdom he said let him ask let him ask let him ask if you lack wisdom ask ask of god solomon asked for an understanding heart men can ask for wisdom that's the second key very quickly so number one from scripture number two from number three impartation from the carriers of this wisdom with proofs number three impartation yes sir you can receive impartation of divine supernatural wisdom from those who carry it there are people that carry divine wisdom and you can receive impartation from these men and women hallelujah most times when i have the privilege of meeting any of the fathers of faith if ever they ask me for anything to pray for i pray for wisdom i say the grace that is at work in their lives in various dimensions especially wisdom because let me tell you the truth when you ever get to a position of leadership you will learn that the variables for success are many and they are very confusing three roads can look the same and you find out that they are not the same you have to follow them is the sixth year of following them that will show you that it was foolishness you need god to help you if you look at it by the physical things you can put a and a a and b and it may not work you need wisdom hallelujah is someone getting this very very important let's recap again number one from scripture number two by asking in prayer and then number three let's look at an example of receiving impartation through wisdom numbers chapter 27 please from 18 and 20 very quickly and then we'll look at deuteronomy 34 9 numbers 27 from verse 18 and the lord said unto moses take thee joshua the son of Nun, a man in whom there is a spirit and lay your hands upon him uh-huh and then he says set him before eleazar the priest and before all the congregation and give him charge in their sight verse 20 it says thou shalt put some of your honor upon him that all the congregation of the children of israel might be obedient so he was instructed to lay hands upon joshua let's see what came upon him deuteronomy chapter 34 and verse 9 deuteronomy 34 and verse 9 it says and joshua the son of Nun was full of what the spirit of wisdom how did he get it for moses had laid his hands upon him laying on of hands does not mean directly putting a hand on you it's a doctrine is captured the laying on of hands means a system of transfer are we together now yes you can lay hands prophetically you can lay hands directly impartation is powerful and tonight someone who came here to church in the name of jesus you will receive practically an impartation of the spirit of wisdom you will know that it has come upon you because in one month your results will show it will show in your ministry it will show in your life quality superior spiritual decisions in the name of jesus christ